What's good guys, welcome back. Today I got something special planned for you. Since the uh, last couple of videos have been pretty heavy on education and just like emotional, like emotions, I wanted to like definitely lighten up the mood and wanted to share some vlogging that I did a couple of years ago of a trip that I took out west. And this also helps provide an idea for you guys of how I first started getting into this um, as well as the trajectory that I would like to take this inevitably in the future. And that simply is to be more active, right? To be sharing little aspects of my life. I'm in a small town right now, and so there's not like craziness that goes on here. I'm literally in a population probably of less than 10,000 people. And so, um, but I look forward to sharing the aspect of, of my life with you guys in the future and kind of just show you around, show you what I'm about, as well as some of my best thoughts literally come to me when I'm out and being active. And so this is just something to kind of commemorate my early beginnings, but also I had a really awesome trip out in these states. So here we go. morning guys we are in Echo Utah and we are at a rest area uh, just pulled over to get some beautiful scenic spots and it's super exciting it's a lot different from Michigan um, where I spent a lot of time grew up born and raised So yeah, it's absolutely breathtaking. It's about, my eyes are watering because it's super windy and it's about 34 degrees here, which is a big drop compared to the 80 degrees that we were in in Wyoming. So I'll talk to you later. I'm in Idaho. I'm at this place called Craters of the Moon. And if you guys have not had any time to check it out, I would highly recommend it. It's pretty freaking crazy. <clears throat> it kind of reminds me of like if we were on Mars or the moon essentially, just because it's like a it's almost like a barren wasteland, but it's not really in a sense because it's all igneous formations and there's small vegetation, there's different types of plants that are growing up and sprouting up all over the place but I have no other words and I'm coughing because even though we've been out here for about a week I'm still getting used to the high elevation so But of all places, who would have thought in Idaho? You know, I always thought Idaho was straight potatoes, but this trip so far has proven me wrong.
everybody. We spent last night driving. Um, we're in the Grand Tetons. I was looking at going to like Yellowstone, preferably last night, but it got too dark and you don't really want to drive when you're well, when you're tired and also when there's a lot of wildlife on the ground. <clears throat> I'd be yelling right now just for fun, but it's morning, so we're not going to be doing that, but... Um, yeah, so last night uh, all the campgrounds were completely booked and we had to head out to... Well, we had to find a road that wasn't National Forest because... Fun fact, National Parks you are not allowed to sleep in unless you're on a campground. The DNR will ticket you, fine you, and you can get in some serious trouble. Uh, the second thing is, is we decided to pull over to a side road where there's forest, and it's National Forest, part three miles down the road, and we just camped our van there. So let me show you guys how beautiful this is though. Grand Tetons, I just pulled over, it's about 7.30 and uh, the sun's about to come over, so. Get a view, you might be able to see some snow on the mountain there. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. Oh, also I forgot to mention that it's about 30 degrees here. So if you're wondering why I'm dressed like a lumberjack, but I feel like a mountain man, uh, that'd be why. Hey everybody, I'm currently at Badlands National Park and I'm walking up and down and through these areas and there's quite a bit here, lots of canyons, um, a lot of cool rock structures actually, got the sun behind me, I don't know if you guys can see some sick rock formations though, people are starting to hike out here more. kind of been avoiding grassy areas just a little bit mainly because I hear at least a dozen rattlers are just chilling out here so if you guys are hiking in the desert make sure you're safe and you're always aware of your surroundings but let me just show you guys some scenery that'd be pretty sweet huh You do need a backcountry permit, it looks like. There's a ledger when you come in for the Badlands National Park. There's a park permit, and uh, 
you're supposed to fill out a backcountry permit. So if you don't have it, probably shouldn't be down here. All right, I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm heading home soon. Have a good one.